Hey there, it's Jason again. Welcome to part one of my Skyrim modding guide. So starting off with the basics, let's install Mod Organizer and set it up for Skyrim. I will link all the necessary downloads in the description. Choose an easy save location for Mod Organizer. We will come back to it later. It is important to have a good foundation for modding. That is why I highly recommend setting up a game root folder that is separate from your main installation. This prevents Steam from overwriting any files and breaking things during an update. You can do this by selecting Browse Local Files in Steam and making a copy of your game. Paste the game into a well-labeled folder such as Skyrim Modding, then naming the folder Game Root. And once you are done copying your files, you can move on to installing a portable instance of Mod Organizer. It is super easy to do, just follow the prompts. Make sure to select Browse Game a point directly to the game route we have just made. This allows Mod Organizer to manage our own version of Skyrim. Well done, you have successfully installed Mod Organizer, but you are not done yet. I like to use Root Builder to help manage any mods that normally require manual installation, such as ENBs and SKSE. Now you can get your MO2 plugin folder ready, and you can do this by following me on screen. And when you are ready, you can go ahead and download Root Builder. Place the download into Mod Organizer's plugin folder. And check if it is working in MO2. This is a good time to try out Root Builder by installing SKSE. Go ahead and download the file. Make sure that you have the correct version for your game. I am using the latest Steam version 1.6. SKSE is generally installed manually, so there won't be any mod manager options. Just follow me on screen to move the script extender into Mod Organizer's download folder.
Now I would recommend making a separator named root files in the left pane. This will help immensely once we have lots of mods. It's time to install our first mod, move over to the right pane and drag SKSE64 into the separator you have just made. A mod organizer will tell you that the contents does not look valid so we will have to fix up some directories. It's easy to do though, just follow my steps on screen. Now that you've successfully installed SKSE, it's time to give it a check mark in the left pane. This will activate SKSE and ensure that all the other mods relying on it function properly. We've reached the end of part one, the fundamentals. But don't worry, there's more excitement ahead. In our next video, we'll dive into cleaning up Skyrim with essential bug fixes and optimizations. I hope you found this video helpful and entertaining. If you did, I'd greatly appreciate it if you could show your support by liking and subscribing to the channel. Remember, if you encounter any challenges along the way, just drop a comment and I'll be more than happy to assist you. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.